O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one. And I next acknowledge duly, manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully, in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly, do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy, light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely solely, him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host. To the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In the morning, let me know your love, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment. For no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like a dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails, my heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past, I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretch my hands. Like a patch, let my soul thirst for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk, to you I lift my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you, O Lord, my God, let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name, say, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise forever. Amen. In the morning, let me know your love, O Lord. The Lord will send peace, flowing like a river, upon Jerusalem. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her. 
that you may suck and be satisfied with her consoling breasts, that you may drink deeply with delight from the abundance of her glory. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend prosperity to her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing stream. And you shall suck, you shall be carried upon her hip, and dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. You shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. Your bones shall flourish like the grass. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will send peace, flowing like a river, upon Jerusalem. To our God be joyful praise. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds, fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lonely. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with a harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain to the earth. Making mountains sprout with grass and with plans to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food, and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warriors' strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. To our God be joyful praise. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of him who subjected it in hope. Because the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and obtain the glorious liberty of the children of God. Early in the morning I will think of you, O Lord. Early in the morning I will think of you, O Lord. You have been my help. Early in the morning I will think of you, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Early in the morning I will think of you, O Lord. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins.
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour. In the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled. And his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord and forgive us our sins. It is the Father's will that men should see him in the face of his beloved Son. Let us honour him as we say, Hallowed be your name. Christ greeted us with good news. May the world hear it through us and find hope. Hallowed be your name. We praise and thank you, Lord of heaven and earth. You are the hope and joy of men in every age. Hallowed be your name. May Christ's coming transform the church and renew its youth and vigour in the service of men. Hallowed be your name. We pray for Christians who suffer for their belief Sustain them in their hope. Hallowed be your name. At the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant us, Lord, a true knowledge of salvation, so that freed from fear and from the power of our foes, 
we may serve you faithfully all the days of our life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life.